a manager checks in with his ball club. Guaranteed rate field on the south side of Chicago. We've got Major League Baseball on a Tuesday night. It's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the Chicago White Sox. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So almost ready to get underway and towing the slab in this one, Michael Kopech. Gonna be hard to top his last start, Singy. He was outstanding. Complete game shutout. He got some great support from his defense. He's got the swing and miss stuff. Everything working for him. We'll see if he's got it today. He is safe. Well, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base, regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. On the ground a second, might be two. There's one on the first double play. Well, off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Two outs, runner on first. Ahmad King steps to the plate for the White Sox, leading the AL in batting average. And first offering is fouled off. Hey, see it, try it. And now the lefty. Left field way back there. And that one is gone. So he leaves the yard to left. He's one step closer to 100 homers this season. It's 3-0. That's his third straight game with a homer, Singy. This dude is on fire, Boo. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it, and it went a long way. Max Stassi comes up to hit. At the belt and fires. On the ground, two ball. To second, that's one. On the ball, two. Hunter Renfro at the plate. Doubled his first time up. One, two now. On the ground, King. Slings it across, and Renfro is retired. That ends the frame, and the Angels are gone in order. They trail it here, three nothing. So digging in, Ahmad King. He's already homered in this one. Swung on, belted. That one's got a chance. And out of here. He'll circle the bases, his second home run of the game, and they tack on three. It's 6 nothing. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. Love 
love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Back at guaranteed rate field. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now the left fielder, Taylor Ward. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. In time, Devon. Barely got him for the out close play. Talk about being able to dial up the velocity. That first baseman over there might need a little. So the lineup flips over. Here's David Fletcher. And the pitch. On the ground, a short could be two to second. That's one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Ahmad King will hit next. And it's fouled away. King measures six feet even, just 19 years old. And he's driven in double-digit runs over his last 10 games. That smash towards center. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing for the White Sox. They still lead it, though, 6-4. Here on the south side, now it's Hunter Renfro. Out to short, King. Zips it to first. And a quick out, number one. The left fielder, number three. Ahmad King steps to the plate for the White Sox. And a base hit right there. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Next pitch is downstairs. Meanwhile... Activity in the bullpen. Jaime Maria getting ready to go. Moore getting loose as well. Oh, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Fox leave one. Man at first with one gone. And next for the Angels, Max Stassi. And here it comes. To short, could be two. The flip. King tossed to second, and that's a double play to end it. Well, a seven-out save in this one. It's far from your standard save, but he did what was necessary to help his team get the win. And see a guy pitch like this, it's very inspiring for other guys down in the bullpen. And our final here today, 8-4 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Baseball fans and welcome MLB the show with a good one coming at you. It's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the Chicago White Sox. First pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway. And on the hill here today, Jesus Lazardo. What do you have on him, Chris? Well, he got into the eighth inning his last time out, really pitching deep in the games as of late. We'll see today how many innings he's got in him. So two down. 
And next to him for the Sox, Ahmad King. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He doesn't have a play, and so they end up with some speed on it first. Well, tack one more game onto his hitting streak, Boog. Every day, this guy just keeps making his record harder and harder to reach. I still can't believe what he's doing. Yeah, neither can I. It's like he's playing on beginner mode out there. Here's the catcher, Sebi Zavala. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. One ball, Check swing, went around, and the count one and two. And he deals. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Now snap throw to first. King back in on a dive. Tied up here in the early going. Next offering is downstairs. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. They get a run. Back here on the south side, out of the fourth. So in now for the Angels, Taylor Ward. On the ground to short, King. Fires over to first. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of... Chad Wallach now worked to walk in his first trip to the plate. Kicks and fires. Double play ball to second. Good feed, that's one. And that's two. Base is empty with two away. Ahmad King digs in now. Reached on an infield single his first time. In the air to left center. Taylor brings it in for the third out. Now it's Hunter Renfro. One for two. Out to short. King. Tosses to first. And Renfro is retired. And the batter will be the shortstop. Ahmad King. Swung on. Belted. Deep left field. That one on its way. Gone. That's what the fans came to see, and now they're out front. It's so two down. Now it's the shortstop, Ahmad King. He's already homered in this game. Rip to short. Urias to first in time, and that is the. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. The 5-3 final score in this one. Now it's Anthony Rendon. Homered last night, added another hit as well. The pitch. Line drive, caught! Throw not in time, as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. Welcome back, and stepping in is the speedy Ahmad King. Here comes a pitch. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back. And it's gone. An absolutely majestic shot. And they add to their lead. It's 5 zip. And that's his fifth straight game leaving the yard. And boom. Max Stassi comes up to hit. 0 for 1 with a flyout. 
The pitch. Swing at a slow roller. Whips it to first on the run. They limit the damage here. Here's a speed threat. Ahmad King. The solo homer his first time. And there's a rocket into the outfield. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind Runner. the way that he... Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. So a foul ball makes it one and two. King, the base runner at first with one out. Swings and misses. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Back to the top of the lineup. And now the right fielder, Miguel Ramirez. He's 0 for 1. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Ball misses. Throw. Save. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Hey, come on now. One time. Right here. And a foul ball. Next offering is down low. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Ball. Next offering misses, ball two. First and second, two down. Ripped on the ground a second, slings to first, and that is that. So up next for Chicago, Ahmad King. He's already homered here in this one. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Berger, round second on his way to third. Just ahead of the throw, he scores! And the lead is up to five. Everything came together for him. Put a great swing on that ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. And a base hit. King coming home. Now a long throw home. It's off the mark and he scores. It's 7-1. He was all over that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So the batting order turns over. David Fletcher, the next to hit for the Angels, one for three. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lock. Hunter Renfro at the plate. And a pitch. Bounce to the left side. In time to Vaughn. And Renfro is retired. Ahmad King getting ready to hit. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. And that is cut on and missed. Strike one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. And that's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now one out. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing. To second for one, and it's a double play to end the inning. 
this was pure domination at home. Huge sweep. And now you go on the road. The flight's going to be very enjoyable. Get into the next city, get a nice meal. The phrase well-played Maurer from the advertising campaigns for MLB The Show has gone down in history with the fans of the game as one of the most beloved phrases associated with it. How often do you have people walking up to you and saying that or some variation of it? All the time, uh, which is fabulous. Um, there's a lot of fans of the game, uh, including myself out there, and uh, to be a part of that, uh, that catchphrase um, is awesome. Um, they would, uh, as my career continued after the game and the commercial aired, um, they would actually play that catchphrase over the loudspeaker when I would make a nice play. So um, I've enjoyed it over the years, and, um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun to, to run into fans of the game and to hear that over and over. You're a 